Hey comrade, I want to show you how to find the size of red square. No, not this red square. Start with the square whose side length is 1, then draw four line segments that connect each corner to the middle of the opposite side. The question? What's the area of the red square? By rearranging some of the pieces, you see that the original square, whose area is 1, can be reformed into five identical smaller squares, so the area of the red square is 1 fifth. Let's try a similar problem, but now the line segments go to the points that are only one third across. To find the area of the red square, make a similar square below and extend the lines. Color the pieces this way to help see what's going on, then rearrange them to show that the two larger squares can be reformed into five smaller squares. This implies that the red square has an area of two fifths, but there are other wonders hidden inside these problems. Try this red square problem in general by moving x units across. The earlier approach no longer works, but here's the next best thing. Let's find the area of this parallelogram in two different ways. You know that the area equals the base times the height. Here the base is 1 minus x and the height is 1, so the area is 1 minus x. But if we use this side as the base of the parallelogram and the side length of the inner square as the height, we have this area. Since the area of the red square is s squared, these expressions can be combined to produce the area in terms of x. You can verify that the special cases we looked at before, x equals 1 half and x equals 1 third, work in this formula. So relax, you don't need a revolution to conquer the red square.